good. Are you okay? What's up guys hope you're having a great day so we are back at it again with the horses today and so Mike was supposed to come on Tuesday but instead he's coming today um, which actually kind of worked out good because I got to go to Obed and do some climbing and finish my project so if you haven't seen that video check it out for sure Mike said we're probably gonna work on picking the feet up which is kind of like a trust exercise I guess with the horses and you want to be able to kind of grab them by the ankle and just lift up. And he'll go into more detail because I'm not a horse expert by any means. But it's kind of a, what I understand it's a trust thing because it will take them off balance a little bit. And I believe the front leg is easier than the back leg to do. Uh, they're, they're more likely to trust you with the front leg than the back leg. Again, I could be wrong, but I'm going to stick with that. But yeah, it kind of takes them off balance, so it makes them vulnerable. So I guess that's kind of a trust thing. Is that right? A horse has two weapons, its mouth and its feet. So those are their only lines of defense. So giving you their feet is giving up their weapon. So there you go. We're gonna get them situated. So when Mike gets here, we'll be back with you guys. So this ought to be interesting. I've gotta figure out how to get that one and that one out without that one and that one. How do you think we do that? Hi baby girl. Hi baby girl. I just wanted to take a little bit of time and say thank you guys. I, I put out a video the other day that was kind of like, so I mentioned that I try and come up with things to say for videos and stuff and I want to become more like natural, organic, whatever you want to call it. So I put myself out there, you know, and kind of shared some things and my, you know, that I deal with depression and things like that. And I had a lot of you guys uh, comment how you thought I was doing well with my videos and I just want to take the time to say thank you. That really does mean a lot. I really love making the videos and for you guys to enjoy watching them makes it that much better. I do really like the the new video ideas that we've got with Ryan going on. I think that's it's going to be really really cool. You know, it's really cool to find somebody to share the YouTube stuff with. Um, a lot of people around me don't really either don't care or don't know enough and don't really want to put in the effort because it takes a lot of effort to do YouTube videos. Um, I don't know if you realize how many hours of editing and how many hours of trying to get the right shot and this last video actually went really smoothly um, we edited it in basically a night and shot it in a few hours that day so if we have a full day of shooting or a full few days of shooting I think it's gonna be really really amazing and the cameras that he's got and the gimbals um, I've always wanted to work with a gimbal and so He's got some for a camera and for a phone, so I'm gonna look for some cool stuff to do with that. I'm just super excited about the whole thing. Uh, I hope you guys care. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I just wanted to kind of say thank you guys and that I did kind of put myself out there and the response was a good one. So that really means a lot and that, that makes a difference to me. It kind of gave me a boost to continue doing videos. So I hope you guys like the videos that I come up with. Um, I've got a few coming, like I've said before, I've got the giveaway video. The first giveaway is about to end in like seven days, I think. I've put a couple of extra entryways in there each time I've done a video. I'll probably put one for each of the new videos that I have, so there will be some more entries to do. The next giveaway, I'm working on that video right now. Anyways, be sure, like I said before, let me know in the comments. I really want this to be an interactive platform. Like, I want my channel to be interactive. I want, that's why I try and answer every single comment that I get. A couple of cool ideas that I had is something like maybe some live videos either going on Instagram and you guys pick like the climb that I do or um, go out with the goblin and you guys pick the trail. So let me know what you guys think of that. I think that'd be a really cool idea. We'd either have to like, I'd have to figure out how to do a live video out in the middle of the woods, which might be kind of tough. So we might be able to do like Instagram 
and then make a video. So you guys choose it on Instagram, then I put it on the YouTube video. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. I think that'd be a cool idea. All right, I'm gonna stop talking for a little while. Wait till Mike gets here. Actually, mom and I are gonna try and put the halters on the little guys before Mike gets here. So let's get to doing that. All right, so I'm gonna try and put this on him. Come here, bro. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I saw that coming. Okay. So, Mike, do you have a suggestion for him? Yeah, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Watch out for the hind end. Well, he usually won't kick at me like that. Yeah, but he proved to us he would uh, just a couple of times ago. Here, let's do this. From there, just kind of move your body in real close to his shoulder. Yeah, and just kind of like, there you go. Yeah. Take that under his neck. There you go. That, that part needs to go on the other side. Yeah, just hold that long strap. There you go, in your right hand. There you go. There you go. We did it. And only one broken rib, man. All right. On you, it's gonna go on you. <laughs> she doesn't want to be outdone by Brock. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just kind of. Yeah, it's fine. Next time you get like that where you can rub her neck, just kind of put your other hand up there um, on her throat and just kind of ask her just to stand right there. And uh, it's a good chance she will. Often once they feel both hands up there, one kind of on top of their neck, one on their throat, often they'll go ahead and slow down. Okay. Where we get in trouble is like if we get a hand on their rump and they start moving out away from us and we stay with them on that. Then you get one of those. That's what we get. Yeah. <laughs> if we're lucky. Right. You did so if we're good lucky then, that's bro. the extent of it. <laughs> Those, you know, these guys, small as they are, they still outweigh us. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. They're more than twice our strength. Yeah. Um, they're babies, but they can sure manhandle us if we don't approach it properly. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, I think this video is going to probably be pretty long, so I'm going to break it into two. And I'll actually put a link to the other video with just Mike working with Anya and picking her feet up and doing all that. Um, it's a really cool video, so I think you guys should check it out. I just don't want to make the video like 40 minutes long or anything, so I'm going to break it into two. But I hope you guys did like the video. I think Brock, we had some issues with him. Um, I got kicked. That was more my fault. You don't get behind him when you do that. And... If you don't want to get kicked, you don't stand behind them. But if you're going to get kicked, make sure you get it on camera. So, that's. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I, Anya did really well. Brock did really well. Mike always does well working with them. Super informative. Super good at what he does. I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to check out the other one. Remember, do what you love. We'll see you next time, guys.